this is the way to say it, Spanish wine and paella. Um, and then we are going to start with the six wines of the day, and at the end of the day, we will be uh, enjoying a nice paella prepared by our friends here from Scafos. While we go through the wines, we will be also having some bites, some tapas, so you, you can share with your wines. Uh, the way it goes is I will start by a little introduction about the Spanish wine. I will also tell you some story about paella and how it was invented, where does it come from, and why it's so important in the Spanish cuisine. And finally, I will give you a little lesson on how to taste wine like a pro. So I know that there are many professionals. I'm sure there are people who have tasted wine before. It lasts itself because that would make our wine warmer. So that's very important. The first thing we do is we look at the wine, right? So we, well, sometimes the color indicates some important characteristics of the wine. For instance, wines that tend to be browner in color are, are wines that are more aged. Wines that are a little bit pale, like this one, probably are wines that are younger and fresher. So that's the first thing. When we are in front of a sparkling wine, we also like to have a look at the at the bubbles, the size of the bubbles, how many of them do we have. So that also gives us an indication of the processes that were used uh, to produce the wine. So that's the first thing we, we look at the appearance, as we call it, of the wine. The second thing we do is we not for, for sparkling, but probably for the rest of the wines. We swirl the wines. Let's do it with the upcoming one. But then we smell it. Remember that the wine has spent some time in the bottle. Therefore, we want to release the aromas and we try to smell it. The first thing I want you to focus on is what we call the primary, secondary, and tertiary aromas. Primary refers to aromas and flavors that come directly from the fruit. So let's say fruit flavors, I will, I will give you some clusters and some hints on what, what's the kind of things you will find. Secondary aromas are related to winemaking techniques or oak, oak aging. And finally, tertiary aromas have or are related to long-term aging, either in the bottle or in barrel. <laughs> shopping so we just did Versace and we bought oils from here 
we bought from Dior, and then look how you do look like that. And then we bought from Louis. So now where we about to go? Barredo. But we have been smelling everything. We need to get something to eat. Um, but we have been perfume, fragrance shopping all day. It's going good so far. She's the fragrance queen. She works in fragrance. <laughs> she just got her, is it your master's? Yes, I do. She just got her master's degree in, what did you get it in? In perfumery, cosmetics, and business. <laughs> there you go. So she knows what she's talking about. She'd be like, oh, what's the notes in this? What's the base note, what's this? So I'm learning from her about how to pick my perfumes, how to match them with oils. I'm writing down the top and base notes that I really like in perfume. So it's going pretty good so far. If I had to buy, I wouldn't have did all that. I would have played it just how you wanted to play it. You didn't yet see my worth, so you try to play me. But I was so in love. Now we in Swiss Arabian, which I love. I love them for oils too. This one is one of my favorites. Oh, I just got a little bit so we kept we kept the ones that we were smelling and look at this bag this is how long we've been fragrance shopping all day baby when we're crying that's right i get so excited mm -hmm. Ooh, how i like it i try but i can't fight it yeah. oh you're dancing real close uh -huh. but it's real real slow you know what you're doing don't you baby when we're crying Baby, when we're... 